we are very keen to work with you and I want to thank you for your uh, input, uh, your collaboration with us and indeed your assistance. Uh, we presented uh, the Wade Foundation uh, paper to Cabinet, which of course Cabinet approved. Um, that's why we are ready to sign the agreement and I'd love you to come to Fiji to actually you know, sign the agreement. Uh, we've just also changed our protocols just by way of background. Uh, we have now about 82% of the population fully vaccinated, the target population. Uh, we have a few pockets where there is a, a low rates of vaccination, but overall the country has got over about 82% of fully vaccinated adults. 96 to 97% have received their first dose, so we need to get the double dose up to those figures, uh, which has enabled us now to be able to change our protocols. And uh, so from the 1st of December, officially, we'll be welcoming tourists, um, and, uh, and which is great. We look forward to that. I understand the Americans and Australians are the ones leading the charge. At the moment, the Americans are beating the Australians, which is a good thing, too, So, uh, in, in terms of the bookings. And, um, you know, it, it is interesting because, you know, I, I'm not sure if you're aware or not, but our cyclone season actually starts in the month of November. It goes from November up to April. So we, of course, are keeping our fingers crossed that it does not affect the arrival of tourism. The, the COVID actually took a major hit on, on our economy. Uh, you know, close to at least 40% of the economy is directly, uh, or, or the, our GDP is directly related to tourism. There's obviously other ancillary services around that. And uh, so, you know, we had massive unemployment uh, and government has actually rolled out a number of social safety net programs. We have, uh, you know, for the first time in, in Fiji's history, we actually have had rolled out unemployment benefits for even those people in the informal sector. You know, whether people who catch fish and sell by the roadside, ladies who, you know, weave mats and sell to tourists, etc. They don't actually have a formal sort of, you know, business as such, but in the informal sector, there's quite a few of them uh, in that space. So we've decided to also provide unemployment benefits to them. So. We, we've actually had to go out and borrow a lot in the market, um, but we don't mind doing that because we have to provide those social safety nets, uh, including, so we have continued with free education. Uh, we have a scholarship system where we give preference to people who study, for example, marine sciences, uh, foresters, etc. Uh, you know, we want to build our capacity uh, in, in that space. So we've continued with that. And we've also said that those people who now, of course, come fully vaccinated to Fiji uh, need to only spend, as, as a tourist, need to spend only 48 hours in what we call a containment hotel. They're quite free to move around in the hotel. They do a test, obviously, before uh, arrival into Fiji. And upon arrival, within 48 hours, they do a rapid test, and then they can go out to all what we call the green zone areas, uh, which would be great. So, you know, in, I'm just sort of highlighting this in that context. We love to welcome you. Um, but I, I've got lots to say, but let me hear from you first. Thanks. You know, I'm honored to meet you, uh, and, and, uh, and I'm so honored and humbled to be able to have this opportunity to, you know, build on the work that you've already done to, you know, assist you in, in implementing your national ocean policy. Uh, I think you've done a lot with the Climate Change Act that you just passed. Um, and, you know, uh, Fiji has been one of my favorite places ever since I went to a trip to the Sawa Islands and the Lao Group and uh, I have a boat and so I'm familiar with the, uh, with the cyclone season. <laughs> so I know I can't go, I can only go there from May until, until you know, October. So, uh, so I hope to come there by boat and, and have my boat there next summer sometime, okay. um, which, would, which would be great. So um, I, mean, I love, I can't wait to just start, start working with you. I'd love to hear your thoughts on how we can work best uh, to assist you in, in achieving in achieving your goals, um, I am. I, I'd love to be one of the first people in on December first and bring a, a team of people, uh, or anytime shortly thereafter that works for you, uh, to come starting to, to work. Um, and uh, what's important to me is that we we have a very um, uh, you know a very collaborative process that we want to build on, on a lot of work that's been done. Uh, and it, it's, it's your program. We just bring the, the tools, the technical expertise. Uh, we've invested significantly uh, in the people and the processes and the capability to do marine spatial planning and, and enable you to get the, the most out of your oceans in a sustainable way. 
uh, hit your protection goals, to hit your 30% by 2030 that you've outlined in your national ocean policy, and to do so in a way that benefits all the citizens of, of Fiji economically. It has to work for everybody, and it has to be a win-win. Otherwise, there's no there's no point in doing it. So, um, you know, on behalf of the Wade Foundation and the Wade Institute, we're excited to get to work, <laughs> and the Blue Prosperity Coalition and all of our partners. Um, and uh, you know, I'd love to hear from you how you think we can, uh, you know, best do this, and, and when we can start, we're ready to go.